Well, how do that, chums? It is I, Captain of the Steez, and today, chums, for you guys out there in the viewerverse, I'm going to be moving base. Yeah, this isn't really for you, is it? It's totally for me. Yeah, because I'm not getting any new missions. None are popping. Nothing's happening. My little town is dead. It's like a freaking ghost town, even though they were still walking around and levitating and doing all sorts of shenanigans. I can't get out of freaking debt, and I'm not getting anything out of this town, and I can't grow this town to make it any better. I was hoping to get it up to an A class or an S class eventually, but without missions or ways to do so, it's just not working. I don't know whether it's because I'm in debt or whether there's a freaking bug. I think it's probably there's a freaking bug. Reading Reddit and other sorts of posts on Twitter, it would seem that I'm not alone in this issue, but I want to see if I can solve this issue in game, because I don't know whether this is by design or whether it is a genuine bug. So hopefully in today's episode we will find out. So first off, I need to go get some navigational data. Now you can get this free inside of stations or waypoints on planet surfaces. Sometimes you can even find it for sale. But I find that raiding these little red barrels on my freighter works the best. And I'm going to get freaking loads just by going around here because I've got freaking loads of red barrels. The only thing is you may need an Atlas Pass level 3 or something, or level 1, sorry, Atlas Pass level 1 to actually open these barrels So you and also you need the blueprints to make the barrels. So there's a little bit of setup before you can get to this stage. You can just get your free ones inside of the station. I'm just checking to see if this cheat still works where you just run down the stairs, go through both doors and your freighter, go back up again and they all replenish. Yeah, that still works. That's still a thing they haven't patched that out <laughs> am i glad unsure because at the end of the day that's another bug isn't it people but you can exploit it while it's here so i've got a load of navigational data next off over to the cartographer hello there cartographer friend i love the dustbin lid on your head and the way that you've stuck some purple tags on it to make it look freaking fashionable you've done good yeah your mother will be proud right so let's hit up some maps yeah i want the the uh, settlement charts and i'm gonna go for freaking 10 yeah because if i don't find the settlement i'm after i'm gonna keep looking until i find a settlement i do want lovely job if we're gonna do this we can do it freaking properly now chums so hopefully we've got a decent settlement by the time they fix this bug if it is a bug righto i want myself a nice deserty planet i think i've got a deserty planet on this area here with three moons that i'm going to be using for interceptor with scottish rod and other creators if they want to join me righto well, let's have a look ah no there isn't a cactus planet here, so I need to power up the teleporter, and I'm going to jump over to my honey planet. Yes, I've got a planet covered in honey. You just shoot the planet and you get honey. It's freaking awesome. So I'm going to go there, and it's quite a deserty type world. It's a lovely job. Awesome. We've arrived located in style at my honey planet, and I have a bumblebee base here. Yes, a lovely little bumblebee. Hello, bumblebee. There he is up there. Lovely awesome now i'm just going to touch my foot on the planet surface in fact i might jump a little bit away from here yeah, i'll put the sun in the sky look at that isn't that a wondrous planet for a nice little sort of settlement yeah you want a country western type settlement yeah i do this is the perfect planet for said wild westy type feel awesome right let's pop one of those maps and let's see what we get okay here we go cargo and where is it it's somewhere in here there we go it's a bit of a mess isn't it my inventory i never bother changing it because every weekend mission yeah when i get joined by mr kettle and bobby or scottish rod or damash somebody gives me something and it fills up my exosuit with a load of cack sometimes it's not even them sometimes it's ambient players in the nexus everybody feels generous on a friday or the weekend mission awesome well we've got the actual settlement marked but now what i need to do is go to a trading post because you have to get trinkets free trinkets of said race to unlock the settlement so if it's in a corvax area you might need the corvax cubes yeah so let's head on over to the uh, trading post there's two things it could be it could be the corvax cubes or the other thing that the corvax like which i can't freaking remember but here we go we're going to head on over to the trading post right now it's just over yonder hill and we have arrived decoded at said trading post now i'm just waiting for traders to land so looking around at these landing pads where are the traders oh there's some green lines here they come traders are on the way awesome nearly broke into song there chums i don't what i was gonna sing but i probably would have made up a trader's song traders traders flying in traders traders yeah 
Okay, let's go see one of these traders. This one's got one that looks like a freaking TIE fighter. You may have noticed, people, I've had a cup of coffee. <laughs> a macchiato, to be precise. Awesome. There we go. We've got Corvax casings. Ah, that's the ones I was trying to think of. Yeah, so I'm going to buy three of them. And I'm going to buy three Corvax convergence cubes as well. You might want to buy a few more than that, just in case you don't find the settlement you want in first try. But I'm, I'm feeling lucky. Am I feeling lucky? Yes, I am, punk. Let's go. Let's fly on off and let's fly on over to the settlement. Okay, we're landing at said settlement. And yes, it does look quite gnarly on this biome. Ooh, awesome. Yeah, let's head on over and let's just hope that it's a fine and dandy one. I don't want it to be in debt. I want it to have a lot of residents and I want them to be freaking happy. Yeah, over 20%. I want a better town than I've got now without doing anything. Right, the happiness is only 8%. There's only 27 citizens. And is it breaking? No, it's, it's, it's not. The maintenance cost is higher than the productivity cost. I don't want this base. No. Right, let's hit up another map. Let's see what the map does now. If it goes and freaking pinpoints the one I'm standing at, that's not going to be good. Right, there's my map. Let's ping it. Oh, fudging heck. It's gone and registered at my feet, hasn't it? Yes. It's gone and picked up the same freaking settlement. Arse and biscuits. Arse and biscuits just means fart over here in the UK. Yes, an airborne arse biscuit. Right, okay. Lovely. Not so lovely. Right, okay, well you know what, I'm going to try claiming this and then popping a map chums, because maybe that's what I did wrong. Alright, so here we go, let's try that. Awesome, let's go and hit it up, let's claim it. That means I've got to use my free Corvax Convergence Cubes. I should have got freaking six. He was only offering five, I could have gone to a few of them and bought a whole freaking stack, which in hindsight I should have done that, shouldn't I? Right, now let's pop the map, let's see if there's another settlement on the same planet, because sometimes there can be multiples, people. Yes, multiple settlements on the same planet. Nice one. There we go. That's a wider burst this time, chums. Lovely jubbly. We're in freaking business. Hopefully it's going to give me a better settlement than this one. It can't be much freaking worse, can it? Righto. Well, let's head on over to my ship and we'll fly over to the next settlement. Technically, really, I should go back to that trading post and get some more Corv Corvax Convergence Cubes, but hopefully it's going to ask me for the uh, casings instead. If it doesn't, I call in my freighter. I'm fairly sure I've got some Corvax Convergence Cubes just taking up room and dust on my freighter. Let's land here. Lovely. Right in the middle of town. Yes, the captain has eradicated in your little settlement, my little Corvaxy chums. Right, let's go on over here. Let's hit this up. I do like the merger of sort of like tech and sort of wood with these structures and a little bit of stone or metal or whatever. I'm liking this. Okay, oh, fudge. Okay, it's got 61 citizens, 20% happiness. This has hit all the things that I was hoping for. Right, let's call in my freighter huh? and let's hope that I've got some Corvax Convergence Cubes on my freighter huh? or else I may have to go back to the trading post, which I'm not looking forward to. Right, there we go, we've called it in. Let's have a look. Have I still got the Corvax? Yes, I have. There they are. Thank you. Lovely, awesome. We can now claim this. Brilliant. Eh? And yes, we'll have this call. Yes, yes, we want this base. It's freaking awesome. Nice. It's already better than the base I had. Okay, let's hit this up. Let's give it a name. Oh, look at that. I'm going to get production stuffage. This is great. I'm just going to call this honey something for now. I'll call it honey farm. I don't think it's going to become a farm. We'll see what actually gets offered. I may rename this and give it a better title when I understand its purpose. But at the moment, I'm going to get dirt, which is great for changing your creature colours to red. And activated idiom. In fact, it's red, white and black. My logo colours. So I'm happy that it's given dirt. You know what? I might not do anything. I might just leave it as it is. I might just ignore all of my actual citizens and just keep it as it is <laughs> freaking mind blown stuff already better than my last base freaking happy as a bunny nice righto you know what make me happier though if it actually pops missions, because it seems to be completely foobarred. And yeah, like I say, I don't think I'm alone in this, and I think it might be a bug. But here we go. We're going to build the actual overseer's station, and then we're just going to wait around for about 10 minutes and see if anything pops. If it doesn't, then I think I'm in the same boat as everybody else, where the settlement missions are broken. Yeah, I don't even think it's asking me to fight the Sentinels, which is a bad sign. Really, every time you swap base, 
you sh it should reset the mission. I've got to go get a load of silicate powder so I can build my overseer's station. So that's what I'm doing right now. You know what? I can speed this up. And I built, I think I speed up the footage until I've actually built pretty much everything. Here we go, let's uh, grab all this sort of stuff. I may have to fly back up to my freighter and buy myself some microprocessors for the final stage. So I might just do that quickly. Heck yes, that's, that's going to be done. So I need to get some metal plating. You need five metal plating and three of the microprocessors. I think I just done this around the wrong way. I went and got five of the uh, metal platings and no. Yeah, five of the freaking circuit boards and three metal platings, but yeah, you know, that's just the story of my life. I always do things back to front. Nice! Um, I'm not so keen on the actual planet name there, Dimmel. All right, I think it's already been uploaded to the Discovery server, though. In fact, I called this NMSA Honey Farm. I'm sure I did. Discovery servers must be janky. Okay, what's new? Brilliant! Right, well, let's finish this off then. Yes, five metal platings. I went and got freaking free, didn't I? Let's go into the cargo area. Let's um, build out two more of them. There we go. We got f I've got five freaking circuit boards as well. So I've got two surplus. Right, there we go. Well, that's going to take another minute and a half. I can run round my town, though, and have a look in all the buildings. We'll see if we've got ourselves some sort of alcoholic beverages establishment, like a pub, a public house. Heck yes. So Captain Steve can really sort of um, partake after a busy day. Oh, this room's... Well, that's just full of freaking nothing, isn't it? Yeah, a fresh air house, that one. Okay, is there any sandwiches? Is there any sandwiches for sale upon... No, but we've got a big cookery area there. We've got like, a nice little gaff there. Another cookery area. Yeah, what are you up to? Not much? Okay, fine. Okay, well, we haven't got any of those establishments that I was hoping for, chums. No, but we have got quite a gnarly-looking town. It's a little bit empty, though, in places. But you know what? I can live with this. This is probably better than the last establishment. At least there's no sort of levitating gag everywhere. Okay, let's head on in. And let's view... Oh, no. We've got no pending decisions. Everything is built -icated. And I have waited a good amount of time at this stage, chums. And you know what? I'm not getting any missions popping. But you know what? I am going to get free stuff. And there's timers down there. So you know what? Next episode will be me claiming free stuff and see if anything has happened in the next 24 hours. Also, patch 6.2 is due in or something? 3.62? Anyway, goodbye for now, people. Bye-bye. Well, thank you very much for watching. If you like what you see, please hit a like and a subscribe. And I'd like to say a massive great big thank you to all of my backers over on Patreon and over on YouTube membership. Thanking you, backers. And if you want to support this channel, just don't skip the adverts. That throws revenue down my avenue. Or yeah, just stay with Captain Steve a little bit longer and hit something on this screen. There's merch here now too.